young. <laughs> Can you hold this and just point it? <laughs> Pressure's on. <laughs> Your idea too. <laughs> so. um, well, thanks for. I'm so glad to be here today, and um, this has made a big impression on me. And I think um, seeing what we've all talked about with my own eyes is certainly um, really sobering. And um, I'm glad to see people taking action and. and um, and spreading the word and raising the visibility of this issue. It's very important. I would like to say something. I live in White Springs, and tradition says that White Springs was common ground for Native Americans, and they come there for healing. It wasn't no warring or fighting necessarily. And when we walked through this forest, a lot of these trees were probably here. And the Native Americans were here, and you know, and, and, and you can sense this whole mystical, I mean, really, I'm not, you know, I'm not into this stuff necessarily, but I get that feeling, you know, my entire life. I've lived around here and I've lived in these woods when I hear the, the towers peel out their Stephen Foster songs in the Stephen Foster Park, I can hear it, everybody in White Springs can hear it. And it reminds you of what we've had in the past and what we would really like to have in the future. Seven generations behind us look down on what they left us here. And seven generations ahead of us will look back at what we do. Um, I'd like to hand to the congressman, here's the material that have been discussed, including a longer piece, which I don't know if you've seen, which talks about, you know, what you've heard is only a small piece of the problem. There's more pipelines that were not considered. There's liquid natural gas export operations already approved where this pipeline goes. There's power plants that don't have to be there. And it's not just in Florida. There's one in Georgia where a pipeline company just damaged a river and spilled oil and did nothing to clean it up. There's the thing you heard about in Pennsylvania. There's two feeder pipelines in Pennsylvania that Spectra's bought into one of them. It just goes on and on. Now, a lot of that's detailed in that thing that I gave you there. And we have been doing what we can to stop this. I think Merrily alluded to a court case. Walls uh, petitioned against Sable Trail and the Florida Department of Environmental Pet Protection to try to stop their permit to drill under this river, in the Santa Fe River. And it was also in that same combined, it was an easement for that and an environmental resource permit, which unfortunately was the Clean Water Act Section 401 permit. I say unfortunately because even though we, you know, we carried that for four months, we had a three-day hearing, you can see the transcripts and the videos in which you see sworn testimony from Sable Trail saying things like, because it's, you know, however many feet under the river, it's not a problem. You know, Dennis sat there and said, what about the cracks that go down? It's not a problem. And, you know, Dennis was the last witness who spoke rebutting, they said, we have a remediation plan. And he says, what if it breaks into Falmouth Cavern? You can't fill that up. You would stop the flow to the springs. That's illegal in Florida. <coughs> Judge ruled against us anyway. And we couldn't appeal for long versions. There's another permit that they're still going for several. One having to do with a metering and regulation station right here, right across the river in Suwannee County which would connect to another pipeline that goes to Jacksonville. There's just no end of this stuff. Sable Trail, however, is the middle of this. If we can stop Sable Trail, we can stop this whole boondoggle. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, if I understand correctly, your position is you're not necessarily trying to stop it, you're trying to make them do it right. That would be a good thing. <coughs> I applaud all your efforts and any other member of Congress or anybody else who can do that. That's one of the next tactics that we're all trying. There's still more tactics, and we sure hope that this one and some of the others succeed. For example, in Georgia, a number of groups are lobbying state legislators and congressmen to try to get the DEP, or excuse me, the Georgia Environmental Protection Division to stop the Clean Water Act 401 permit there, which would be an excellent thing <laughs> because that's what the state of New York did that seems to be pretty much stopping the Constitution pipeline up there, another natural gas pipeline. And in Georgia, this no one could believe this happened until it did. 
as one of the groups that was trying to make it happen. We were just trying to squeak by, <coughs> get a vote in the Georgia House of Representatives to stop a river drilling easement bill. And instead, we got 128 nay to 34 I. The biggest victory ever seen on an environmental issue in the Georgia legislature, which indicates to me this is 